Hi class, so today we are going to be painting our corn. This is our last day to do this project. We're not using the lid today. We're going to be blending onto our paper. And remember, we're using the primary colors, so blue, yellow, and red. It, just ignore the other colors that are in your palette. Oh. We're also using white as well, but that is not a primary color. So first, you're going to finish coloring your corn. So you're going to choose a color. Let's say I want to make orange. So I'm adding yellow to this. I'm cleaning out my brush. I need to dry it off. I'm going to get a drop of red. Drop of red. This is probably even too much red. And I'm going to blend it in. I'm just going to make a reddish orange for this one. And it can be any color you want it to be. So now, this part's important as well. I'm going to clean up my brush again, and I'm going to add white for the highlight and the tint. Remember, anytime you add white to a color, it makes a tint. It makes a lighter version. So you're going to add a little bit of white in the middle. You're going to um, go in a circular motion from the middle out, and you're going to blend that white in, not all the way to the edge, but you want to have a lighter area in the middle of your corn. You can wipe off your brush to get some of that paint off. You can clean it off. If it's not working well, just clean it off. Dry it, and um, it'll help that color blend into the edge. So once you're done painting in your kernels, you're going to paint the black inside the spaces. Now, we have a little container for the black. It's a liquid black. So I added um, some water to make it a little bit more runny. Now, you're only going in between those spaces. You're not painting all around your kernels just in those little spaces and we're adding shade which is black. We're not um, mixing it with a color, we're just adding black in those little corners. So you don't want a ton of it on your brush at a time, just a little bit on the tip of your brush and you're painting in between those areas. And you can also turn your paper to make it easier but you're using the tip of the brush and you're using um, feather-like pressure, so you're not pressing down hard at all. If you do press down hard, it's just going to split your brush and it's going to make a big black blob on your paper. And you want to be very careful. Take your time. I'm going around. And that's okay. I can fix it by just making that kernel a little bit smaller. But it's kind of like this diamond shape almost in the middle of four kernels or a star. So I'm not going to go all the way around. Remember, just in those little cracks. And I'm going to continue that all the way till I finish. Now, um, one other color we learned about mixing was this army green color. Remember, you're going to get yellow. Mostly yellow. A little bit of blue. Little tiny bit. Probably that much. I'm going to mix this in on my paper. And then a drop of red. And I'm going to blend this in. This is pretty dark. This is also a nice color, though, to use. It's kind of like a maroonish brown. Mm -hmm. But if I want this to be more green, I'm going to add yellow and blue. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. So now I'm going to clean up my brush. I'm going to get white. Start in the middle. I have a little too much white, so I'm going to clean up my brush, dry it off. And then I'm going to blend around so it gets faded into the, the green. All right. The other color we talked about, maroon. So you're going to use red and blue, but mostly red because you don't want a purple. You want it to be like a reddish purple. 
to mostly red, a drop of blue, I'm going to clean out my brush so I don't blend any more blue into the color. And if you need more, you can always add more. It's hard to take away. It does look dark. It's not that dark, though. Then white in the middle of that. Cleaning out my brush. Blending it in. So you want it very subtle. You don't want to go over the whole kernel. Also the midnight blue. So blue and then a drop of black. That was too much black. So that's an example of, I'm going to show you how hard it is to, uh, <laughs> to add. So I'm adding blue but it's still looking black. So what you can do is scoop some of that paint off, clean your brush off, try to kind of take away with your brush. You can wipe it off and now I'm going to add more blue. Oh, now this looks more like that midnight blue color. So if that ever happens to you, you can kind of try to take away paint. It's harder to do, but you can still do that. Add white in the middle. I'm going to clean up my brush, dry it off, go around, fade it into the dark blue. All right, and that is our project for today. Thank you for watching. Oops. Bye-bye. Wait,